So I'm just about to uh, put the last component onto this batch of circuit boards. There's four here, I've got another one here. And the last component is there, it's the PIC microcontroller. Uh, it's an 8-pin device. That's the 12F683, and it's the last component to go on the board. All the rest are already on there. But if I look in my tray of pre programmed microcontrollers with the latest version of firmware, there aren't any. So I'm going to have to program some. So this is how they come supplied in a plastic tube. So what I'll do is let's tip some of these into this tray, which is roughly the right number to fill the tray up, and then I'm going to start programming them. So this is the programming setup. Um, I've got microchips PIC kit 3 here, and that's in uh, programmer to go mode. So the hex code for the firmware for the chip is permanently inside this uh, programmer and I've stuck a sticker on the back which is my product label to remind me that uh, this program is only to be used for programming these chips. Uh, that's connected via this ribbon cable to a ZIF socket and this one is by Joshua Systems. You can see there it's j1sys.com um, and uh, there are some header links here so that it can be configured for different chips. That's set up for the 12F683. And there's the zero insertion force socket. And in programmer to go mode, the microchip Picket 3 doesn't need to be connected to a computer. So the USB cable that's on there just simply goes to this power pack, uh, which is. Oh, it's an Exibel something or other. It came from Class Olsen, but it's a very neat little power pack. The USB socket on the top takes four AA batteries. I'll switch it on. The blue light comes on. And now the PIC kit programmer uh, fires up. And when you get that flashing blue light in the middle, that indicates programmer to go mode. And that shows that um, there's firmware in there and you, you're ready to... Uh, program the chips in the ZIF socket. So let's program a few of these chips up. Now the first thing I'm going to do is put my hand onto the metal casing of my power amplifier so that I'm earthed, make sure that I've not got any static electricity built up on me because I don't want to zap that into the chips. Okay that's done so now I can take one of the chips, pop it into the socket, push the lever down, that grips the chip in the socket and then press the button and it takes about two seconds and then we get the green light on and the flashing blue light and we're done. Now that chip comes out and I push it into the foam and that reminds me that that is a programmed chip because the last thing I want to happen here is for unprogrammed chips to uh, get into what I believe is the programmed chips area because you can't see which is which so I have to be quite disciplined and concentrate on what I'm doing here um, so that I don't accidentally solder a unprogrammed chip into a, a board and then have to take it out again which would uh, be a nuisance so let's do a couple more of these another chip press the button it's red while it's programming and then it goes green and that means done. Out you come into the foam and we'll do one more. Make sure the uh, pin one ident is top left um, otherwise it'd be the wrong way around and it would fail. Program and that's that one done put it into the foam. And that's pretty much it.